Okay. So I'm gonna restart this. Language itself is inherently swervy in a sense because you could say things that aren't entirely true or you can pause and you could somehow hide from the fact that we're all here together. Um, I think that's an inherently true fact and I feel like in today's world uh, if you play the scared role which is what I think the people with guns and negative uh, versions of control if you play that then you're r rubbing the wrong message into this really open thing so I'm gonna unfortunately I was videotaping before and I'm kind of sad that that didn't catch but this one seems to be catching I don't know where to start we'll start with the fact that cameras uh, seem to allow for a more honest expression of uh, oscillations of consciousness um, nothing in terms of the physical reality that you can oscillate with regardless of whether or not you have a camera yeah. nothing about that changes the actual reality except for the fact that you have a camera so it comes down to time and shared reality there are physical things in front of me and around me in this present moment this present moment being whatever the exact day time and second and hour and minute and millisecond of this exact moment are now that's local so the same as this local reality and the local physical phone in my hand before i upload it it's not kind of known that i'm that it's going to be uploaded but if i if i kind of do the motions and i go through the entire loop and then like this point in the loop uploading it has to come in if i'm doing the loop anyways if i'm doing the whole loop anyways on upload it's gonna happen anyways so it seems like there's like another thing here uh oscillating with us but it's just you just you so you is the universe with a capital u the big y meaning like everything inside of living things that's the life you and there's a little y which is the you you and that's like whichever one you are human uh plant uh, etc the reason why some people say matter is alive is because we uh came to be through electricity spiking the right combinations of in inorganic matter so you know just like some rock carbon a couple of elements throw in the water and you have amino acids and that's been proven and known so i don't you know we don't have to go through the details of proving that this is happening in real because it's happening in real and you're the proof and so is this and so is every moment that's ever been captured from this conscious mindset so if you keep going down you get to the point of gravity which is time in the past so there's an oscillation of time and energy that's floating upwards but i would say also going downwards because of gravity so the way we're going right now is we're bouncing time is physical when you're thinking about the past you are physically swimming back into these moments of true absolute now which is truly absolutely now okay but constantly being created Okay, because it's being created, it's oscillating in between the states. You can, we still haven't figured out what it is, so we're still studying history and we're still looking back into the past because we still haven't gotten it. So what I think I realized today is that uh, you you actually. Uh, time actually stops so I want to live in a future where time no longer exists so what I mean by that is the notion of relativity in relative time so I think that when we come to that ultimate realization that we're all here together on one planet and that goes for the whole globe and then ultimately 
the space that we're spinning in, which is engulfed outside of this atmosphere that allows us to breathe and talk about what we're actually doing floating in the space. Outside of that, there's a empty dark space and then there's a sun far away and then Earth is spinning. So I'm talking about the actual universe that we're floating in uh, and not what the universe is banging into. I think that's source, I think that's what we pull from. I think that's what's behind gravity. So it goes back in. Uh, so for all pockets of source oscillating with itself then there has to be a realization of that there has not been at least not on this planet yet uh, I do see black holes though right we do kind of see that black holes exist so it seems like uh, this has probably happened in the history of our abundantly large universe uh, but time ha is still flowing in the universe from what we could understand so It seems like absolute time, or the one that's still flowing, is always absolutely already kind of this. So it seems like our plight here is to change universe. I think that if you black hole the gravity, uh, like I explained, I was trying to explain it earlier about what would happen to a, a human that reaches these realizations uh, and doesn't share. Uh, so I would say human, but any enlightened species at the point in space-time where this happens. Uh, <sighs> the thing is that I can communicate to the ones that it's happened to, but I could say, hey, look, there's black holes to the ones that I'm here with now. Uh, so I'm going to do that because I wasn't here uh, before 1988. And I think that's something worth talking about. I think that for every single one of you, there's a year that you can say, well, I wasn't here before that. And when you realize that that applies to every single person that's here right now, and you realize that we're all having kids every day, and that ain't stopping, you would say, well, this is probably something worth talking about. So, um, when we reach that realization collectively, if we do it successfully, uh, the Earth would stop spinning, gravity would cease to exist, and time as we know it would also cease to exist, because we'd just be here. So I would imagine that before the whole Earth would stop shaking and rotating around the sun, there would be some sort of event. Like, you know, it would be kind of hard to ignore. Right? Like, the motion here wouldn't happen anymore, as it's currently happening. So, uh, you know. It would be in part us that's making the gravity kind of stop and it would be gravity itself like you no know, we'd be resisting or bouncing with more in a different way. So if you were <sighs> So I can't say I know what's gonna happen because it ain't ever happened here and if I'm communicating like the nineteen eighty eight to you know today capsule of light that is this guy holding this thing in his hands, um then I can't say I've been here before. But if I'm communicating like the thing that's inside of me, um I would have to say, God, if I keep uh, doing this kind of thing, it would attract electricity. So, why? Because we're electric, right? When you touch your iPhone, uh, there's an electric charge that goes from your finger to the phone that allows you to communicate with the phone because we're electronic, let's say. Uh, but it's because consciousness is electromagnetic and gravitational at least probably all the force of the universe because it's probably the act of light traveling consciousness traveling light so there's it's so hard to explain what we think we mean when we're talking about these things because we don't have commonly defined um, ideas of words but words themselves can be twisted and often are <laughs> words man we believe them and then it takes us away from this point so we do need to communicate our ideas but if we would come to the realization then we'd have to hit the hard topics so mirrors so are do you believe that you are the mirror that controls your sphere of focus or do you believe that you're the light around that sphere of focus both internally and externally I don't know what's making Sergio talk or what's making that plant breathe or what's making you think or what's making you breathe, but that thing is this.